Michigan Out of Doors Online is brought to you in part by by Red Wing Shoes, located in the shops at Centerpoint in Grand Rapids at the corner of 28th Street and the Beltline. The store has everything you need for the worksite or the woods. Stop in or check them out online at redwingshoes.com. And by Mr. Muskie Charters, offering full-service guided fishing trips for walleye, muskie, bass, and sturgeon on Lake St. Clair and the Detroit and St. Clair Rivers. Booking information is online at mrmuskiecharters.com. Hey everybody, welcome to Michigan Out of Doors and thank you so much for joining us this week. We've got a brand new show for you, lots of good stuff, and we're going to start out of the port of Frankfurt with a good friend, Bob Garner. Now we do this trip every year and we always bring some new people along. You won't want to miss this story. Lots of laughs, lots of good times. We're also going to hit the water and show you some of the new technology that's out there, specifically how your trolling motor and how your fish finder can work together to help you find more fish and spend more time on the water. And if that wasn't enough, we're also going to have a really good lake trout recipe for you. So make sure you stay tuned. I'm Jimmy Gretzinger. It's time for Michigan Out of Doors. From the first spring rains to the soft summer breeze, dancing on the pine forest floor. The autumn colors catch your eyes, here come the crystal winter skies. It's Michigan, Michigan Out of Doors. What a beautiful day in the woods. Someday our children all will see this is their finest legacy, the wonder and the love of Michigan as the wind comes whispering through the trees the sweet smell of nature's in the air from the great lakes to the quiet stream shining like a sportsman's dream it's a love of michigan we all share michigan out of doors is presented by by Country Smokehouse, a sportsman's meat processor and Michigan destination since 1988. Offers a variety of homemade smoked meats and Michigan-made products in-store and online. The Country Smokehouse features an outdoor barbecue and bar. Details at CountrySmokehouse.com. By G5 Outdoors, makers of the Quest and Prime bows, manufactured and designed in Memphis, Michigan. G5 offers a line of archery bows, broadheads, and accessories on the web at G5Outdoors.com. By Hemisphere Design Works, a Muskegon manufacturer of sportsman's outdoor products for over 30 years, featuring the terrain line of hard-sided hunting blinds designed for quick setup and removal with quiet operation. For more information and other products, HemisphereDesignWorks.com. Soaking in the rich tradition of Michigan hunting for over 30 years, Vanguard is proud to sponsor our friends at Michigan Out of Doors TV. Every year on our annual fishing trip with Bob Garner, we try to invite along a few new people who are either a part of the show now or have been in the past. Joining us this year was Mike Ridley, the singer and songwriter of the Michigan Out of Doors theme song, and also Jenny's husband, Matt. It's been pretty good. We've had some uh, king salmon show up. There's not a lot of kings. The ones we've been catching have been uh, pretty nice size. Um, a lot of lake trout, as always, in Frankfurt, so we're catching a pretty nice mixed bag. Uh, occasional steelhead, but mostly consistent lake trout and uh, king salmon so far. So okay. We're going to work these lake trout over for a little while here, and then we're going to switch over to king salmon. we got one on right now. We just hit another lake trout back there. Did you guys get that early run of kings up here that uh, day in June? They did. It was probably an eight or ten day you know, time period for them. Okay. Um, that time of year, I'm actually down in Lake Erie, so. But I know I know they did have a you know a short period of them moving through, and they have the last couple of years. So it's been pretty steady on the king action, though. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Not a lot of numbers, but you know, nice sized fish. There you yeah. go, Mikey. Yeah, how about that. All right. That was nice. We gotta hold them up. You hold them, them for a hold picture? them up. Yeah. Even sort of looks like Morton F. You know, tall, lanky like that. <laughs> you know, gray hair, whole bit here. Like I never man. heard Morton sing, though. Maybe he doesn't, but <laughs> anyway. He was a good singer. But I will never, ever, ever forget Morton F. There's a whole, a whole bunch of people watching tonight that know exactly what I'm talking about. He was the greatest. Jenny's up there. Should we have Jenny come and coach you on how to do this? Yeah. If I get pushed in, it'll be bad. I think you can teach us a few things about fishing. Pretty good start. Lots of lake trout. We're on the West Platte Bay Reef up in West Platte Bay, close to Honor, Michigan. We uh, set, what, three or four rods and had a couple trout on, so it looks like a pretty good start.
After boating our first couple of lake trout, Mike decided to grab the guitar for some live entertainment, starting with a song that everyone should know. From the first spring rain to the soft summer breeze, dancing on the pine forest floor, the autumn colors catch your eyes, here come those crystal winter skies, it's Michigan, Michigan out of doors. Day our children all will see this is their finest legacy, the wonder and the love of Michigan. As the wind comes whispering through the trees, sweet smell of nature's in the air. From the Great Lakes to the quiet stream, shining like a sportsman's dream, it's a love of Michigan we all share. Hey, get the smallest fish award. Takes a good angler to catch something that small. <laughs> well, we just broke out the sandwiches, which is always a good indicator that you could get a fish to go, because we had that one go for a while. So we got what looks like another laker on this one, I'm thinking. Let's get a good head shake or two. Kiss my wife at least twice a day. Two happy children and another on the way. Live up here where the north wind whines. Don't try to find me cause I'm hiding in the vine. Gotta make a sandwich. <laughs> Worked in the city and the money was good And now make a living just to cut and bolt wood Packer pole, saw, lock, birch, veneer I get to the city by once a year My brother and my sister were there doing just fine Can't understand why I'm hiding in the vine Out here just north of Frankfurt Had a little bit of a delay, but we got another fish on here Doesn't feel too big um, Just gonna ask for a better night Great group of people We've even got live music on the boat tonight, which is a little different. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Uh, just been having a great time. Can't, no complaints here, no matter how big the fish is. I've been doing this for so long. I mean, I mean since, since Hector was a pup, as he used to say. I've been doing this for so long. I get the biggest kick out of just watching other people catch fish. And not that you guys don't catch a lot of fish. It's just, it's more fun. It really is. It's like bringing my grandkids out here. We had a ball last week with Steve. Got a bunch of lake trout and the kids had a great time. It's good stuff. How many boards do you think you've fished out of here in Michigan, Bob? I don't know, but I've been banned for probably more than <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's start with the ones you can't fish in. <laughs> yeah, easier to count the ones I can. <laughs> well, we got a little storm rolling in, so we're gonna pull up lines. We're about 12 miles from home, so we're going to pull up lines and fish a little bit closer to home and see how the storms act and see where they're headed. Better to be closer we're gonna, to port. Yeah, it better be closer to home. We're going to go, we get a bunch of trout, so we're going to go try to catch a king or two. So make a little move. After a quick run to get us a little closer to Frankfurt, we set lines and almost immediately had another fish on. Down to St. Joe, Kalamazoo, East to Monroe, to St. Marie, and back again. I am a Michigan woman. Go, Jenny! I am a Michigan man, as we're all from the Nashville, you're mine. Lord above, above this land, I am a Michigan man. by live music from Mike Ridley. You can't beat that. A first. <laughs> Mike, uh, Mike had uh, done Michigan Man, the song Michigan Man, and he was invited by the governor and the uh, um, 
the Attorney General and Secretary of State come over and play it at the Capitol. And I was invited over <laughs> because he had done some things for MUCC at uh, Outdoorama, had, had uh, done some music there. And I was invited over to see that. And if you know Mike, you, you, you know Jordan, he just automatically, you know, automatically makes friends wherever he goes. And that's just Mike. And so consequently, it's been 20 some years ago and we have been buddies since then. We've done a lot of stuff together, had a lot of fun together. And, and there's probably no more fun guy in this whole world than, than Mike Ridley. Very serious guy in a lot of ways too, but uh, when it comes to cracking a joke and having fun, uh, he's the top of the list. Oh, here we go. Nice fish. Oh yeah, best one of Thank the day. Thank you, Jordan. It was really nice of you to give this to an old man. You know, this could be my last fish, Jordan. Now, now. Yeah. Jordan's never going to let me forget this. You know? <laughs> Nor should you. Thank you, Jordan. You're welcome. Nice job. I appreciate There's it, There's no way I could have got that thing in my Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, thanks for taking the hard part for me. I am, I am a Michigan man, as where I'm from, and I show you my hand. Lord above, I love this land. I am a Michigan man. I am, I am a fishing man, as where I'm from, and I show you my hands. I am, I am, I am, by God, I am a Michigan man. I am, I am a Michigan man, where sleeping bears lie on the sand. Man, I do this place to his hands. I am a Michigan man. Well, as you can tell, we had a ton of fun on the water that night. Thanks so much to Bob for putting it all together. What a great time out of Frankfurt we have there every year. We're going to shift gears now, head back to the water, but talk a little bit more about technology, some of the things you can be expecting from your trolling motor and your fish finder to help you find more fish no matter what body of water you choose to fish. Everybody, we are here today on Gun Lake. Our friends at Madison Marine hooked us up with Nate Stout. Nate works with Hummingbird in Minkota. And I just really wanted to get kind of a lesson uh, and really some of the information out to you of some of the stuff that these trolling motor systems can do now. They all link together. You can, and I don't know how they work, but I've you know, seen commercials and right. talked to people that, oh, they can do this and that and the other thing. What can these systems do and, and what improvements you know, over the last few years have you seen in the electronics? Yeah, so you know, one of the things you'll hear Minn Kota and Hummingbird both talking about in the next um, you know, coming months, next season especially, is the one boat network. Okay. So only Minn Kota and Humminbird work together uh, seamlessly to uh, give you full boat control. And that's going to be something we, we constantly talk about because no other uh, electronic brand or motor brand is able to connect together and work the way that, that ours do. So I think what we'll do is we'll go through a couple scenarios, show you exactly how these things work, what, what uh, things like follow the contour are, um, as long as some other, maybe a little some some uh, secrets along the way there. And so basically they're, the trolling motor and the electronics are talking back and forth to each other then, right? Correct. Okay. Um, as a matter of fact, we introduced Bluetooth technology and my phone's going off right now and I just got a notice, uh, notification that I've got an unknown phone call coming into me as we speak. Wow. So there's just a lot of technology um, and I think some people get overwhelmed by it. Yeah. And so I think it'd be good just to go through a couple of key things okay. and um, Maybe, maybe people can share this with their friends and help. And really, ultimately, this, we're doing this so that we have, can maximize our time on the water, catch Correct. more fish, enjoy more time in the outdoors. Correct. We, we want to get people fishing, um, less worrying about boat control and, and things like that. You know, something as simple as our spot lock technology where, you know, you land a fish um, in the past, you know, you kind of got to watch where the motor's going. You hit a spot lock button and 
by the powers of GPS, yeah. you stay locked in one position. So there's a ton of benefits and um, we'll kind of cover some of, the, some of the biggest ones today. It is truly amazing some of the technology that has worked its way into the outdoors. Now I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, but it is pretty amazing to see what is out there for the sportsman. All right, Nate, so walk us through some of the features here. Yeah, so I think the first thing we can do is just show the basic iPilot link functionality as it relates to controlling the motor. So once your motor is powered on um, from the Humminbird unit, all you have to do is hit the power button once, and you'll see at the very top, it says deploy Altera. And essentially what that's gonna allow it to do is deploy, and then once that's in the water and, and locked in, into position, you'll see a uh, secondary menu of controls for the motor. So it's, now it's in the water. So now I have the option to steer left and right, right from my unit, hmm. turn the prop on and off. I can change the trim, which is raising and lowering the, the motor. I can uh, stow it from here. I can set a cruise control. I can turn my sonar on and off because this unit comes with the US-2 sonar um, on the motor. So I'm gonna stow this for now. I thought it was also interesting that these units can run from an app on your phone as well. So if you forget to charge the handheld, your phone can help you out. But for me, the follow the contour option was really interesting. One of the things that I forgot to mention was Lake Master is proprietary to Humminbird and Minn Kota. So Lake Master, as you see here, it's, it's high def mapping um, that's only compatible with Humminbird. And essentially when you have an iPilot link system, let me just zoom in here a little bit. You can see some some tracks that we've already laid this morning. But let's say um, we heard that, you know, walleye are biting it at 20 feet. And so we're gonna get on this, um, this contour line here. And so I get this menu, I, hit, I just hit go to, and then there's uh, all these options here. You have spot lock here. Spot lock is the virtual anchor that I talked about earlier. So if we just wanted to stay right here and lock ourselves in GPS wise, you'd hit spot lock. Um, but follow the contours is, is one of the unique features that we have. So let's just go here. So basically it's gonna highlight this, this 20 foot contour. Um, if I pick the first button or the first option, I'm gonna go to the left. And if I pick the blue option, that means I'm gonna follow this to the right. And then let's say we know they're at 20 feet, but we wanna stay back um, or we want to stay about three feet deeper so we're casting into that contour line or trolling into that contour line. And all we do is choose the direction we want to go. And now you'll see we've picked this contour line all the way over here. So as soon as I turn the prop on. So that'll take us to that depth of so, water and keep us there. Yeah, so you can see the motor is starting to follow. I'm going to bump up the speed just a little bit. So basically what that's gonna do is take us right to that position and start us on that contour line. And as soon as we get there, I probably should have picked one a little closer, uh, but as soon as we get there, it'll just start following it to the right and it'll keep us on there. If I move my cursor over, it will literally follow that contour line as far as we want it to go. Hmm. Um, so. The one thing I will say, the one caveat here, is that I'm gonna cancel navigation. As you see, we've got a couple of boaters out here and we also have a big island um, that uh, we wanna make sure we navigate around. This thing does not recognize boaters in front of us. Mm. So you do have to pay attention, but um, you know, if you've got a wide open shot or if you're going just really close, this thing, you, know, you can fish for hours without having to worry about bothering the trolling motor. So, whether that's being spot locked in a, in a position or, or following contour, you can, you know, this more fishing, less, uh, you know, messing with the boat is what we're trying to accomplish. Kevin Madison here in the teal is who was telling me about what some of these units can do. And unless you have him on your boat, this new smart strike feature would be pretty handy. So this is a smart strike um, Lake Master chip for Great Lakes. Um, and essentially any map that's, or any lake that's mapped in high definition, all you have to do is hit the check mark and you see that you get a menu that says Smart Strike. Follow that cursor to the right. And so we're on Gun Lake. I had to, um, I've already plugged that in earlier. You'll have a lake list. You choose your lake you're on. We're going to target Largemouth, 
it's summertime, it's morning, you know, let's say hazy skies because it is a little foggy this morning, calm wind, uh, clear water, you could have murky water, let's do clear, and you hit execute search. So I'll zoom out just a shade. So that tells you where it thinks those fish are going to be. Yeah, so you see all these little pink markers with a hook and a fish on it. What, because we have all the data of, so essentially we put in an algorithm that says, we know that um, you know smallmouth or largemouth are going to like this certain condition in this time of year, and you know I just used this a couple weeks ago with my brother uh, fishing for some crappie, and I just wanted to test it out because it was a it was a reservoir I'm not super familiar with, and sure enough, first spot we checked um, was success. So um, it's a new product; it's starting to gain some popularity. But I just wanted to show how easy it is, and you can do this for any species of fish. So let me just go back, and I'm going to clear those results. So you've got largemouth, smallmouth, bluegill, crappie, perch, um, northern pike, muskie, walleye. Um, that pretty much covers the gamut of the fish you'd want to go after. Um, so any any lake that is mapped in high def, if you buy the Smart Strike chip, and you can go on our website and see which lakes and reservoirs are Smart Strike capable, but just another way to get you fishing quicker and um, you know less searching. When it comes down to it, less searching and quicker access to fish is what we all would like to see. So you can do that any way you would like. But if you are fishing new water on a regular basis, well, some of these new features might just make your time on the water a little more productive. Well, hey everybody, we are here once again at Antlers Fireside Grill, Canadian Lakes, right here kind of in the center of the state. We're here with Jim Wood, chef extraordinaire, and we've got some lake trout here, Jim. First of all, you said this was Frankfurt? Yes, sir. Nice. A lot of good lakers up there. We're gonna be fishing there shortly. What can we do with this lake trout to make it good? Make it great. To make it great, I was gonna say, it's, it's good regardless. It's good, Lake yeah. trout's awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sear it. Okay. All right, just give it a nice bronze color. We're not gonna put any flour on it. We're not gonna add any, any starch to it. Uh, and then we're gonna make a summer vegetable ratatouille. Okay, what makes a ratatouille? I've heard that term, I don't know well, what That's that basically a, like, uh, a combination of a few different vegetables. And commonly it's onions, peppers, tomatoes, some sort of squash. Okay. Uh, fresh basil, and then it's stewed. And we're actually going to stew it in beer. To get started, salt your fish and add it to a pan on high heat. Cook the fish about two-thirds of the way through and remove it from the pan. And now it's time to make the ratatouille. So we're going to add our vegetables. We've got some onion. We've got a couple different colors of pepper here. Nice. Summer squash. Actually, this is yellow squash. Okay. Once we've got that cooked down a little bit, then we're going to add some tomato to it. A little more salt. And are you just cooking these till they're kind of done through, or are you trying to get them really soft, or trying to soften them up a little bit, okay. release a lot of the liquid um, initially? Okay. So now that we've got that, now we're going to add our beer here. And does it matter what kind of beer? Well, yeah. Um, you want something citrusy. Okay. Um, something that's not going to finish super bitter. Hmm. All beer is going to finish a little bitter, um, so we're going to add a little sugar to sweeten it up. Hmm. Just a little bit of sugar to help sweeten that up. Hmm. All right, and now add our fish back to that. Fresh basil, and then here we have some jalapeno, orange, and maple butter. Oh, wow. And this is going to help keep the fish moist. And so this really is going to help thicken the sauce and um, give the sauce a little more depth. So we're kind of steaming it a little bit here. Yep. Okay. Wow. So how long do you want to sit in this situation here? It all depends size of the fish? Yeah, so for instance, I added a, a little more liquid than I would for, say, if I was doing something thin like rainbow trout. Okay. Um, that was a pretty good size fillet. I mean, it was, was decent, yeah. yeah. Um, so it all, it all depends. On, okay. Yeah, most important tool for a home cook is to buy an instant read thermometer. Okay. That's the only way you're ever going to, I mean, and unless you're... fish is done at what? <clears throat> 
I like to pull mine off 130, 135 degrees, which is approximately mid-rare. What is the name of this dish? This is seared lake trout with beer broth and ratatouille. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Michigan Out of Doors this week. Make sure you stay tuned over the next several weeks. Lots of good fishing action happening, and we're only a couple of weeks away from the hunting seasons, and we'll be giving you an update on what happened last week at the Natural Resources Commission meeting as it pertains to CWD. Lots of good stuff happening around our great state. Make sure you get out and enjoy it. If we don't see you in the woods or on the water, hopefully we'll see you right back here next week on your PBS station. Michigan Out of Doors is presented by by Greenstone Farm Credit Services, making recreational land ownership possible across Michigan and Northeast Wisconsin. Begin your land financing journey at one of Greenstone's 37 locations or greenstonefcs.com. By the locally owned and operated members of the Michigan Petroleum Association and the National Oil Heat Research Alliance, who provide oil heat with bioheat, a renewable fuel source designed to benefit the home and the environment. Details on the web at useoilheatmichigan.com. By AnglerQuest Pontoons, a mid-Michigan company building boats for fishermen by fishermen. AnglerQuest Pontoons are designed for comfort and functionality. On the web at anglerquestpontoons.com. By Huron Lady River Cruises in Port Huron, offering daily sightseeing trips and private cruises for all ages. Sightseers will experience the International Blue Water Bridge, Great Lakes Freighters, the Fort Gratiot Lighthouse, and more. Huron Lady River Cruises on the web at huronlady.com. Closed captioning provided by Marvo Mineral, makers of Lucky Buck, deer management products including minerals to supplement deer diets year-round to improve health and antler growth. When I want a far away, a dream stays with me night and day. It's the road that leads to my home state. I am a Michigan man. Changing seasons paint the scene like rainbow trout in a hidden stream.